Thank you. Captain. No. I'm... Look, I think that there's a whole market where you can make a killing. Uh, uh, I think that you uh, were born what? to be a slam poet. Slam poet? Yeah. No, no, no. It's like... It's I like, never heard of this slam... No. Uh, well, it's like, it's like a, you're a punk rock poet, man. Like what a beat mean? poet, but not dumb. So give me an... Uh, the captain has never heard of the slam poetry. What do we do? Uh, you know, slam poetry, you're, you just like... It's passionate. You're just like... Oh, fucking straight microphone stands. Why can't you bend like other microphone stands? So shitty poetry. Yeah, pretty much. All right, I'll try it out right, All right now. Go for it. Fuck you, just a lot of phone. That's it. That's all I got. All right, that means it's gotta be go time. Go 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 go. Hello, you beautiful denizens of chat realm. My name is Brian Brushwood. Welcome to Naughty Tide, bringing you the best of the worst of the internet since 1992. Uh, as always, I'm here in the West Coast in California. Joining me all the way from the West Coast of California is Justin Robert Young. What's going on, JRY? Oh, I've had a really great day today trying to hide feral cats in my beard. <laughs> Hey, by the way, okay, so so on vacation, there was a parking location that was labeled uh, 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 the cat lot. And we're like, what the fuck is a cat lot? And they're like, well, that's where you're going to park your car to go on vacation. So we go, we go there, and then there's this giant, like, fucking um, government sign that says, no illegal cat dumping. Uh, fuck you, we're serious. Signed, the government. P.S. Eat shit. And so we get in there. We're like, "What the fuck is all this?" And then we uh, we look around, and uh, it's I don't, I don't know. It's just a fucking parking lot. And then we look, and there's like a cat there. And then there's another cat, and another cat, and another cat. And it, and at some point, we back up and realize there are seventeen cats staring us in the face, and that it's a feral cat wonderland. So many cats have been dumped at this place that they put up a goddamn sign saying, "Please stop dumping cats here." Whoa! Wait a minute. Like, so how? I mean, do you, is it on Yelp? Like, do you feel like when you search for cat dumping, does this place come up with five stars? <laughs> it says, it says uh, oh, shit. We took a. We, uh, I wish. I wish I had the photo. We 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 had a photo of it. It said like no cat dumping. Uh, whatever. Blah 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 blah. But, it, but I'll tell you what, man. It's wild to be there and you look around and you're like, oh, there's a kitty cat. There's another kitty cat. At some point, once you get past like number seven and eight, they stop being kitty cats and you're like, there's the enemy. There's there's more of them than there are of me. And then you start to get worried. What the natural fuck? Like, all right, hold on, wait. How many cats do you think that you could take, like, if they came at you at once? I'd say 12. 12? I mean, can, can like, uh, you uh, can, converge at once? But let's say two at a time. You're telling me you can't get, take out six sets of two? I mean, here's the thing, right? Like, it's like, it's a matter of, like, sure, you can... You if, Pow, pow. That's it. If if you connect with one, then you win. I mean, first of all, let's try this. How many penguins could you take at once? Oh, fuck that. Penguins are like little men. Like, are we talking about the big emperor penguins? No, we're talking about the actual fucking ice hockey team, the penguins. Yes, we're talking about emperor <laughs> penguins. Penguins of the National Hockey League? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think I could probably take out Brian Sutter. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I mean, I'm like, this is the, uh, I mean, that's the question. I, I, I think like, like cats are fucked up because like they can jump on you and then they get you and like, you can grab them by the scruff and maybe like bang them against a chain link fence or some right. shit. But it's like, how many of those can you do? Uh, Sono champ in the, the, the chat realm right now has got a brilliant idea. And I know you're on vacation. The farthest thing from your mind is making television, but I got a television show. I'd like to pitch to you. Okay. Come out at the beginning I, of every episode and you say, hi, my name is Brian Brushwood. I'm on the internet a lot, but right now I'm faced with a life or death decision. A group of feral cats has gathered around me and I now need to fight them. Let's see if I can survive. Title card. Whew, 12 feral cats. And I'll every you what, week man. you fight 12 feral cats. 
Okay, how how how, how, are, how do we keep it fresh though? It's like it's like uh, once you beat twelve feral cats, is it a challenge? That uh, there's I'm sorry, the same- Brian. Uh, there's one cat picture on the internet. Uh, there's no room for any more cat pictures. Fucking people just love cats. Except this <laughs> time, you're punching them instead of hugging them. Also, every episode is a new kind of cat. So one time, Halloween, of course, it's black cats. You know, you have uh, maybe to celebrate Coco, the sign language gorilla. There's a tailless tabby. There's all sorts of different kinds of cats that you fight. All right, look, I think you have a great idea. However, I've just received this in from uh, our correspondent in Austin, Texas, Bonnie Brushwood. Uh, She says, gets weirder with cats. Cats with homes join these feral cats because it's a feline party. Josie has a book about this. She loves cats. (laughs) (laughs) What? Number one, I got a question what you're giving to your daughter with all these pussy orgies that, you know, all of a sudden all the homebound cats are (laughs) rolling. I'm just saying, we'll see if this this tunes in. Nope, it doesn't. Whatever. Um, (laughs) I'm showing you the face of God and you don't even know it. Uh, Okay, fine. Uh, Bonnie, Bonnie, however, feels like this story's already been done. Well, let's talk about something um, a little bit more in line with crippling depression. (laughs) Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, let's dive in. Well, God we get damn to that, let me, let me tell you this. Folks, we got a hell of a show coming up here for you. Me and Brian are just going to rock and roll all good goddamn night and party every day with ourselves. No guests. You want to know what? We don't need it. And you're going to find out why. We got a lot of heavy shit we want to get into. We got an update on Dragon Con, and we're going to play one of our favorite games of all time. Name that autocomplete. But before we do, Brian, I poured myself a glass of red wine. Red, because red, red uh, I wanna, we want, we need to have a conversation, man. You had a hell of a fucking weekend. God damn it. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna do my best to tell the truth in uh, the the most legal way possible. I guess. Um. First of all, uh, it's probably no surprise to most of you that I host a show on the internet called Scam School. But what you may not know is that we're still running the same contract. Well, hold on, wait, wrote- wait, wait, wait. Let's so you're running, you have scam school, right? Yep, that's a that's love, a show I do. You love doing it, right? Uh fucking more than anything. Uh many of you will notice that my name in the chat right this minute. Here look. That's how you feel. That's how you feel about running scam school, man. There you it's go. a great yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, see that? Look, whenever I type shit, it says scam school Brian. That's how you know. That's like my name is fucking Scam School Brian. Your Scam um, School Brian on Instagram, like it, it's it's a uh, you know on on all sorts of places. Like that's that's your thing. You've done this. That was your first big internet foray after Brian Brushwood on the road. Certainly the first taste of internet success that you had, right? Yeah. Um, after seven years, I was like, hey, we should maybe have a different agreement than we have now. Because we wrote this agreement in 2007, when now, now, th- th- there are a couple things that are that are also different. Because after they wrote your contract back in 2007, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. a lot of friends of ours that also do shows that uh, had different agreements. You know, they had a- agreements where it wasn't just top down that. Uh, revision three then was just paying all the money and everybody just kind of was an employee and everything. It was a shared cost and shared ownership situation. Everybody paid in to create it and everybody shared equally or at least semi equally. Uh, there was ownership stakes in all of the properties. I mean, that's a, that, uh, nah. you know what? I hadn't thought about that. That's a really good point. It seems like everybody who joined after 2008 uh, owned their own stuff and uh, used Discovery slash Revision 3 as a distribution platform. And it seemed like it worked out really well for everyone because somebody got more distribution, they got ad sales, they got the thing. And then meanwhile, they, you know, after all, they were the ones who were wrote, wrote you know, they, they wrote it, they developed it, they uh, shot it, they edited it, they produced it, they post-produced it, they post-edited it, and then they ran the social media so they own their stuff. And it makes them better for owning it. Like the shows are better. I mean, listen, uh, we both know we're both good friends with Ryan Connolly. 
Ryan Connolly not only works about 19 hours every single day, he has yep. also enslaved his family to yep, do yep, nothing yep, yep. but work on yep. film right. You think his brother wants to be on that show? Fuck no. He wants to be <laughs> out there doing what any other teenager does, sitting behind the gas station throwing empty beer bottles at the wall. That's what he wants to do, but instead, okay. Ryan's got a, a shotgun trained on him yeah. saying, you want to know what? If that video doesn't get edited, maybe I can edit a hole in your stomach with this here shotgun. So, like, so, so here's what, what it seems like to me, and, and, and see if you follow me here, right? It seems like if you join the party in 2009 or later, then uh, you showed up with shit fully formed and got to own your shit, right? Yeah. I kind of I I joined the party in 2007, and it kind of started off as, hey, bro, whatever, uh, fucking let's do this. And then, uh, all right, long, uh, fuck you. Long story short, uh, it would be really rad if I owned even 1% of Scam School. And it turns out I don't. And after seven years, I kind of asked, hey, can we renegotiate my contract? Can I maybe own no, a, a little piece of a thing? So also what happens in between this time is at some point, and, and you, we talked a lot about this, right? Like you decided, oh, wow, look, it looks like the growth on this channel is on YouTube. So maybe instead of looking at YouTube as just a place where we syndicate this podcast, we look at this as a YouTube channel that has other ways that you can catch it if you are not on YouTube or you don't do YouTube. So you took a whole mess of ownership on the property. You started answering everything. You started thinking of new, more YouTube-specific kind of programming. And, I, uh, and what you see I, now, I, 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 I might have answered over 30,000 YouTube comments. I might have invested for two years answering every single comment on every brand new episode of Scam School. And I might have, starting three months ago, started answering every single comment on every single video for Scam School. And it might have been because I fucking love it. In fact, now that I think about it, I might have fucking started offering extra programming for free just because... I was under the impression, according to what I was told, that if we hit certain benchmarks, then, you know, I could escalate to owning a piece of it because that sounds pretty rad. Sounds rad. Sounds rad to own a thing that you do. Right, Justin? It's, it's fairly common as well. Like, there are elements to this that have played out throughout the history of all entertainment. Somebody has a certain deal. All of a sudden, they outperform that deal. And ownership says to labor, well, to make sure that everybody's happy, let's go ahead and tear up this deal and let's come up with something where we were all satisfied. That way, well, people and, who and, 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 and un un understand, like, like the whole thinking behind all of this is like when I first started, you know, it's like the, the, the piece of paper, the fucking piece of paper that we scratch together on a piece of toilet paper roll in the back of a fucking back alley where we were giving hand jobs to each other. We fucking wrote down, uh, hey, Brian's a guy who will show his stupid face on camera and we'll do all the work. And then we'll own all the work because we did all the work. Signed, fucking people. And then, uh, and then Brian did that. And uh, then at some point, like five years later, Brian's like, hey, nobody's like doing this shit. Uh, I don't know who you're hiring to do this shit. Can I do this shit? And they're like, yes, we'd love for you to do this shit. And then maybe fucking Brian goes from being on-air talent and instead becomes the writer, comma, creator, comma, director, comma, producer, comma, executive producer, comma, uh, uh, post-production coordinator, comma, fucking does everything, and then also handles all of the social media and answers everything. Um, it seems like a different deal. It seems like I'm doing different work. Well, certainly like so. And and it could be said that day you maybe you took that on yourself, you know, maybe uh, you know, it was just something that you wanted. Maybe, hey, you were just doing a a, a favor for old old revision old Mr. Revision three, you know, that like <laughs> you're just like, Well, I you you've been so nice. It's fine. Let me just it's go fine. ahead it's and fine. Help it's fine. No, 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 of course, and 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 I genuinely loved every second of it. And understand, don't make uh, you know, do not misunderstand. Like, uh, 
I did it because I love it, and I loved every second of it. Well, you're and doing it. You're doing it, Brian. You are, you are the host of Scam School. I'm the. I'm sorry. What I mean is, I continue to do this because I love it. You do it. Because I do it. That's do why it. I'm doing it right now, do Justin. It. This do is do it. Do it. I mean, it's 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 fucked up because I care so very very deeply about making it something I'm proud of and something that I want to do, and I understand that. Um, an institution is no one man, but it seems like at some point when promises are made and it's indicated that if you hit a benchmark, you can achieve a thing. Uh, anyway, a long story short, uh, well, let's, fucking let's, guess let's... who uh, wanted to renegotiate his contract? Guess how it's going? Answer, not well, because uh, fucking... It sounded it sounded a little bit like maybe the guy who writes, edits, posts, fucking produces and does shit should maybe own a fucking piece of it. And it turns out not so much. Not so much is the oh, all answer. Right, all right. And let's let's understand this. All right. So here's here's the headline. We've gone through this big preamble because this is in the center of a negotiation. We don't want to say anything half cocked. We don't want to give it a, a misunderstanding of where Brian is. If you uh, follow Brian on Twitter, uh, you you read uh, how would you describe your 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 mindset and your tweets over the weekend fucking pouty crybaby bullshit if you want to see brian at his pouty crybabyest bullshittiest then just take a look at the last 48 hours that's bullshit it's done it's over with whatever uh fucking but we wanted, we wanted I, to talk I about it I, I complained because it turns out that my biplane doesn't go to space and you know what? I want to go to fucking space and no amount of wishing will cause this biplane to go to space. All right. These are my God damn it. All right. Also, my plot for the crotchening is up there on, on screen right now. But it's like, look, no matter how much you want it to, a biplane won't go to fucking space and uh, fucking wishing for ownership won't fucking magically happen on its own. So there's that. Well, let's be completely transparent about everything and say that right now you're you are in negotiations fluid negotiations as far as you know with with discovery would that be safe to say uh, I, I i will say that we are in the midst of discussions and uh as they have the right to do because the piece of paper the uh, the the piece of toilet paper that i fucking you know wiped my dick on uh that is a binding contract uh, fucking says that they can, you know, whatever, whatever. They own everything. That's fine. That's fine. Well, yeah. How about, how about in, in the process, yeah. this is a a process you are in the middle of is talking with them. Now, <laughs> I just got a glimpse of one Jason Murphy walking over there. I'm sorry. Keep going. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so let's say that. We live in a world in which Discovery and you say we can't agree on where scam schools go. We're going to part ways. What you're going to do is just stop teaching things on the internet, right? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm going to give up. I'm going to weep uncontrollable. No, fuck you, man. I'm going to fucking start the biggest, baddest, most badass fucking magic college the internet has ever motherfucking seen. This shit will never fucking end. We're going to fucking rule the goddamn universe because that's what's in the script. I saw the script. I saw the script. And Brian, I don't know how you're going to fund this, this brand new thing. Should that come to pass, but completely separately, I would like to remind everybody that patreon.com slash night attack is how we fund this very show. You're goddamn right it is. Uh, let, okay, no, in, in, in all seriousness, um, it is my truest, sincerest desire that, uh, that everything works out with Discovery. I truly, truly do adore the fact that, uh, that, that, that Discovery – has backed Scam School. I think it's a great show. I'm extraordinarily proud of everything we've done. However, right now, we're in the middle of negotiations. We're not sure how it's going to go. Personally, I'm, I'm, I'm placed in a position where I need to consider what else might be. And with that being the case, um, I mean, I guess... Uh, 
I, 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 I don't know. It is, it is my sincere hope that everything works out. And if it were up to me, I would do scam school for the rest of my life. I adore it deeply. I'm very proud of it. And I want to do it forever. Uh, however, having said all of that. Well, hold uh, on. Let, let's, let's, let, let's stay on that. Because I don't want this to just to be the, the, the fiery fucking flip cars. Let's, let's go nuts uh, segment, right? Uh, Discovery and, and Revision 3 before it means a lot to you. When, when we left Twit. I, I told Lisa at Twit that Twit meant a lot to me because you had scam school coming into Night Attack and I didn't have anything. People, the vast majority of everybody, if you're listening to me now, there's a very good chance that the first time you ever heard my voice and you ever thought that I was funny to the point where you might want to follow me to other stuff and you have uh, been a tremendous impact on my life is because Twit gave me that platform. Scam school and Rev3 and Discovery is that platform to you. It was hard Absolutely. for me to leave Twit. It's very hard to even contemplate looking at you having an argument with, this, with, with, with Discovery, which is why I think you were so fucked up about it this weekend. Well, and, 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 and to be honest, like I'm still fucked up about it. I'm fucked up even talking about it now. It just seems like it, it seems like everything should just be fine and that should be the end of it. But 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 as you and I discussed earlier today, if we were going to act that way, it would be disingenuous to chat realm. And, and that's one thing, our platform, everything you and I are, everything that night attack is, is all based on the idea of we fucking tell the truth to chat realm. And it was, it, it was, it was difficult even playing coy with the, with, with, with the with chat realm over, over Twitter over the weekend. Um, Long story short is, yeah, I'm fucked up over this. I'm fucking having a really, really, really hard-ass time about trying to do a renegotiation for the first time in seven years. And if we're, and, and fucking, it would be, it would, you're right, it would be rad if money weren't a concern and if ownership weren't a concern and if I could just keep working as hard as I do forever and, and not own any of that. That would be fucking awesome. But instead, uh, it turns out that's not the case. Uh, whatever. Well, at the end of the day, <laughs> fucking magic, bro. Uh, it's magic. Ooh, 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 it's magic. Brian motherfucking Brushwood. Uh, well, the good <sighs> news is, is this, folks. Uh, consider this a primer because either everything works out with Brian and discovery that's which i really looking, really hope it do that is my default option that is what i want to have happen I absolutely want and everybody will know everybody will know that at the end of the day and this is the one thing that if, if there is any fucking serious element of this show and this is rife with bullshit this show all we do is invent and distribute bullshit the world round but if there's one single kernel it is the idea that Everybody should continue to do what they want with self-dignity, self-respect, and creativity. You should always have those in mind when you go forward with anything that you do. And if you are renegotiating with Discovery, you stay on Discovery, the default position, then you know that you fought for that and you won. Well, okay. Uh, right. real, real, uh, 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 okay. okay, okay. Uh, Wait, what? Okay, okay, look, understand. Let me state without equivocation whatsoever. Fucking, I hope we're able to work this out. I hope we're able to keep doing scam school. I love it with all my heart and all my being. It is the most important thing. I don't call myself Brian Brushwood Brian. I call myself scam school Brian on my Instagrams and in the chat rooms and whatnot. Fucking, I hope we're able to work this shit out. That's all I'm saying. And so there we go. I want to make it very, very clear to chat room. We are asking nothing be done right now. This is just us confessing to you because you are not only our best friends, but also our bosses. We do not want to show up to work with a bad attitude. And all of a sudden you're like, what's wrong? And you said, nothing. Can't talk about it. No, talk about it. We're talking I, 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 about I, I, it with you right that, now. That's what that's, matters. That's the fucked up thing. It's like, uh, is, is, is that, um, I, again, like my my default option is to fucking not say everything uh, or say anything at all. But it's just like, uh, uh, you're our bosses. You guys are our bosses. Everyone who went to patreon.com slash night attack and contributed even a penny means that you have equal footing with everyone else who's my boss. And and um, it, it bothered me 
that Justin said that uh, people were kind of freaking out over my tweets over the weekend. Understand, all of my tweets were fucking shit's gone sideways, and I don't know how or where things are headed, and I'm terrified because I don't know if I'm good enough to start again from zero, and um, that's difficult for me, but that's my thing, that's not your thing, and so as a result, fucking, we'll see. Uh, m maybe Voltron will fucking rise from the ashes of old Voltron who died. <laughs> but but regardless, <laughs> Voltron Phoenix will rise from the ashes of mixed metaphors. Let me just read you some of the things that came in. So all of a sudden, Brian tweets super emo on Friday and everybody on yeah. the Diamond Club Reddit starts uh, commenting about it. But it's all so positive. Everybody loves you. Higgs Boson says, <laughs> hey, Bry guy, I can't say enough about how awesome you are. Like, seriously and amazingly fantastic. Keep your chin up. That's just self-confidence, Holmes. Uh, yeah, no, 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 that's, that's true. Uh, 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 Justin Robert Young, the official seed Jew says, uh, no, that's not about the vacation. The tweets were about another thing. Thank you, uh, Justin R. Young, whoever that is. Yeah. Well, cause somebody else says, I guess those 10 things aren't happening. <laughs> and I just want to let you know that <laughs> the 10 things that happened to you on vacation or so, uh, we are led to believe will indeed still be happening to Brian. No, oh, uh, look, look, every, everything is, uh, 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 by every objective measure, everything is fucking awesome. Like, like no lie, no, no restrictions, like no bullshit. Like the Lego movie song. What's that? Like the Lego movie song. Everything is awesome. Oh, God damn, you're goddamn right it is, dude. Everything is awesome, except for, uh, uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, almost everything is awesome. Almost everything is cool when you're part of a team, even though that team fucking doesn't want to acknowledge you as part of the team and fucking just like, is like, well, you can not be part of the team, but we'll still throw you some nickels in your face. And you're like, well, fuck you. That's not very awesome. And then they're like, well, fucking bring another offer. And then you're like, well, whatever assholes. And then, Fucking, you go on that attack and you say too much about it. Everything is awesome! Neshka! <laughs> Put it together! <laughs> Fuck, man. Dude, I'm so glad we talked about it. I know, listen, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> fucking need a Reese's. And there ain't no right way to fucking talk about some really personal, intense shit on this fucking show. But this is what this show matters for. It's because we have these moments, and every once in a while, we get a little fucking real about the shit that matters to us so you fucking know what's going on. Here's something that matters to me, Brian. We got some fucking patrons up in this bitch. Oh, God damn right we do. Hold on, let me see. What's the number at? Let me guess. Is it nine... 1961. Uh, how about this? 1981. Ooh, uh, whatever, whatever. Oh, okay, look, I, I don't, I, uh, I don't want to be accused of starting a race war here, but <laughs> that's the best way you've ever started any sentence I've ever heard from you. <laughs> but I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like you know. Uh, the folks over at Cord Killers, I mean, they're up to 1951, like 1915, like almost 2,000 people contributing over there. I mean, 15, 1500, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a little bit of the Dark Ages, a little bit, a little, little bit stuck in the medieval times, uh, you know, whatever. Well, I mean, I'm just saying that if only 1,561 people want the exclusive Captain Morgan tapes, which will be coming out after Dragon Con only to patrons, then that's just going to be what it is. It'll be a release to 1,561 people. However, if you do not count yourself as one of those 1,561, then I do suggest that you head on over to patreon.com slash night attack and pledge yourself one thin cent a fucking episode. Your credit card will never never get charged because mathematically it will never add up enough <laughs> to fucking make the charge uh, cost from the credit Dude, card. Okay, all right. Yeah. Should, should, should we hammer on this? Should we like, like double down on the fact like, hey, Patreon, we called you out. Your system will never charge someone who only pledges a pe one cent per episode. Fucking let's scam the system. Everybody, let's have 20,000 subscribers at one penny per episode. We'll I mean, show them. Fucking, well, yeah. Eat, you know, 
hey, fucking old daddy Patreon won't fucking doesn't know, won't hurt him. Fucking go ahead and Patreon for a cent. You're going to get the same shit everybody else gets, and it'll be a good goddamn hell of a time. Head on over to patreon.com slash night attack uh, and go ahead and, and do that. And then maybe one day we can get back up because we were we were fucking living high on the hog, Brian, for a little while on hey, some ill-gotten I'm games. Not, I'm not focused on the past, Justin Robert Young. I'm focused on the future. I'm focused on the fact, like, what if you and I were to work together to launch, like, the number one? What if we set a world motherfucking record? You ever, you ever hear of somebody named uh, Grace over at my damn channel? You ever hear that that lady? I, I wouldn't be uh, the, the, the daily Grace lady, right? Oh, man, you're goddamn right it is. I mean, it's a, it's a song you've heard before, sir. Yes, yes, they're leaving going independent. You saw it right here on Night Attack. You saw it on Cord Killers. You've seen it a million times before. But what if you set a motherfucking world record for the world's fastest independent movement in all of history? If only, motherfucker, we knew some world record institution and then we could like set it up and like get everybody to fucking just whop all at once and go into that that would be amazing right i mean that would take a normal kind of migration for which the key fan base is just a little bit perturbed and add a little sizzle to that steak next thing you know people are going fucking crazy they're writing their fucking congressmen telling their grandma to fucking sign up and next thing you know you got so many goddamn subscribers that are coming out your ears and seeping through your piss hole it's gonna be a goddamn riot unless you renegotiate <laughs> Which is, of course, what we really hope. The um, default position. <laughs> uh, by the way, this just in for Bonnie Brushwood. <clears throat> you guys have probably said fuck 100 times already. Get a new word. Uh, followed up with, it's a total semantic crutch. So that'll be the last time we say the F word on this show for the remainder of the evening. You're... You're... I'm right. I'm right. You're uh, I'm right. Totally right. I'm totally right. You're friendly. I'm friendly right. I'm filthy friendly right. You're you uh, mother you're, fender. Uh, you mother fender. You're going to be friendly right in my friendly, friendly face. <laughs> Why you I try to friend me I like animal? <laughs> Half Eddie. <laughs> Half. I want half, Eddie. All right. Uh, we're going to play a game called Name That Autocomplete. Hells yeah, we are. Um, Name That Autocomplete is very simple. You go on uh, Google these days, you know, you start typing anything, and all of a sudden all these autocompletes come up. Some of them make fucking sense, and they're exactly what you want, but other of them, you know, they're just random stuff. What it really is is a collection of the hive mind that is the internet as we see what is popular and what isn't when you type in a certain person or thing. What we like to do is remove the person or thing, and me and Brian can go back and forth as we decide in how few autocompletes we can indeed name that, that autocomplete. autocomplete. Yeah. Hells yeah, dude. Uh, by the way, this just in from Bonnie Brushwood, much better. Much better. So there far, we we've only said filth, friendly filth. That's all we got. And by the way, she dared me. She full on said, she said, she said, I dare you to not use the F word. And I'm going to meet that challenge, my lady. All right. Where are we starting, sir? Motherfucker. Whoa! <laughs> uh, all right. So here we go. Uh, I have... The, the doc here, the name that autocomplete uh, number 26 doc one. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, do me a favor, T2T2 T2, uh, in the chat room. Uh, let me know if I am clicking, if we're clicking on the T2T2.eu link for the answers or if uh, you guys will fill them in live on the show. In fact, it'd probably be, just be easier. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. We're just going to use this thing. Excellent. Um, Brian, what's the best way for me to get you this link? Just put it in the chat room? Sure, sure. Um, oh, wait, hold on. I probably shouldn't put it in the chat room because... 
you, you could PM it to me in the chat, or you could send it uh, right, to shore.com. Sh oh, never mind. T2D2, just put it in there. Okay, right on. All right, there it is. Got it. I'm there. I'm ready. Name that autocomplete. All right, I'm looking. All right, let's All right, bring Ryan. it. We have an autocomplete. I believe I can name it in four autocompletes. Holy crap, that's fast. Um, no clue, no nothing? Uh, all right, here, here, I'll give you the hint. White actor. White actor. I believe I can name that white actor in four autocompletes. You know what? Name that autocomplete, sir. All right, I'm going to reveal for myself one, two, three, four. The four autocompletes are Roseanne Tattoo. Roseanne. Oh, shit. God damn it. Fuck you. I already know. God damn it. That worked. 2014. Uh, real quick. That. Real quick. Uh, real quick. I don't know if you saw it. The other clues are, uh, let's see. Uh, Roseanne Tattoo is at the top. Net worth 2014. We also have Discovery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me name it. All right. All right. Don't belittle this. I, I know it. <laughs> Tom Arnold. Of course it is. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. Can you get my iPad from my, my backpack? <laughs> Are you, hold on. Wait, uh, just real quick, just so I understand what's happening. Like you're requesting your own iPad so that you can play your own celebratory hooray sounds for winning your own fucking thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All I'm right, glad we're on the same page. <laughs> Let's move on to the second one. Uh, we have three already off the board. Net worth, Instagram, and Twitter. The hint is crazy. I you am going to say I can name it in three. Holy crap. Three autocompletes. Right. Three, three, three. Read between the lines, motherfucker. Mm. I mean, mother, father. God, God. Uh, I believe um, that you can, uh, I can name it. Uh, no, fuck you. Name it. Name it in three, asshole. <laughs> First of all, use the F word again. So we've already failed Bonnie's bet like, like twice. We failed the Bonnie bet. The Bonnie uh, Belt bet is, is failed. She, she texted you, not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, let's see. They're revealing three autocompletes. One, two, three. They are boyfriend, tour, and guy. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> Ryan, we will ask you now to name that autocomplete. Hey, uh Oh, uh, uh, real quick, real quick. What, what, what were they again? <laughs> Boyfriend, tour, and guy. Um, mm, 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 mm. Beyonce. Brian, your answer is incorrect. It is Lady Gaga. Guy, wait, who writes Lady Gaga guy? Wait, what? Like, like, uh, why would people search Lady Gaga guy? I don't know. Hmm. All right. Trying to plug in this shit. This is ruining the fucking show. <laughs> It's fine. It's going great. It's going great. It's going. It's going absolutely great. All right. It's, it's going fun. even better than my negotiations with Discovery. Come on. Let's go. Let's All do this. right. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. They're saying because Lady Gaga's a, a man. She's a man's man. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Got it. Uh, All right. Next one. All right. Our next one is nine autocompletes. Net worth is off the board. All right. Uh, I'll do. I'll do eight. Uh, I can do five. I'll do four. Uh, Brant, can you click on the um, 
Can you click on the uh, on 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 the hint so we know what it is? Yep. And show it. <laughs> Mole. Oh shit. I regret saying four. Um, I say name that autocomplete. <sighs> All right, I'll try for four. What do I got, Justin? <clears throat> Uh, Brant, you're going to have to show it because I accidentally unplugged my mouse. <laughs> uh, net worth, eye candy, Jack Black, Fear Street, stay out of the basement. And the clue is mole. God damn it, people. Wait, do you know this? No. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, 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 who? RL is is it RL Stein? It's RL Stein. I'm gonna say it's RL Stein. Your answer is correct. It's RL Stein. <laughs> well, you're gonna need yes. to play the music. Oh my God! I can't believe that, dude. Right, Brian, and it's one to one. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, ready. Next round. We got this. The hint is Brito. Brito? Brito. Brito Twitter. Br uh, Brito. I believe I can name it in four. Name that. Name that autocomplete, bro. I, I refuse to believe that Brito is Will Harris. That'd be too easy. Oh, man. My four are tonight <laughs> and fired. <laughs> oh, shit. I know what it is. Fucking, I, I, I met this guy. I went face to face with him. Is it Jonathan Ross? No, it's Pierce Morgan, bro. Oh, no, Brad, play bad music. <laughs> uh, all right, wait, hold on. Let me see if this works here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bullshit. All right, good, good, good. All right, so I have music again. Here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, all right, moving on. We have... Uh, Brian, you are up. Or sorry, no, it's 1-1, one, one, right? Yep. Uh, well, actually, uh, you failed that one. So, yeah, 1-1, one, one. sure. Okay. Brian, seven autocompletes on the board. The hint is white. Actor. <laughs> White actor? White actor. Like an actor, only whiter. White. Um, all right. Uh, I'll give a, I'll, I, a five. I can do it in five. I can do it in four. What's up with the confidence? What's up, what's up with uh, just suddenly hearing like white actor? You're like, I could do it like right now. I'm just what Rob you, Young. What uh, you don't understand, Brian, is... I love white people. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'll do it in three. I'll do it in three. Oh, I got oh, three. Oh. Three. three. I love the white, white man serving more. Now? Oh, yeah. yes, Massa. I can name your autocompletes if you will. All right. Here we go, Brian. You're going to name them in three. I'm going to let you name that autocomplete as we reveal them. They are net worth, wife, interview. God damn it. I'll say Robin Williams. Robin Williams, Brian, your answer is incorrect. Bullshit. If a dog. Guy Pierce. The ingrate. decided that out of all the adjectives, white was the one that applied the most to Guy Pierce. <laughs> Where did this come from? By your own damn fries. All right. <laughs> Tied 1-1. One, one. 
Here we go. All right. Let me get these two together. Seven autocompletes on the board. The hint is white actor Brito. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I could name it in, in three autocompletes. Which isn't Guy Pierce British? No, uh, not British enough, apparently. Three, three. Read between the lines. Uh, what's with the confidence in British white actors? I don't know, because there's only seven of them. We all, We got it. Oh, he's Australian. All right, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, you say three, I say go ahead. One, Wait, two, three. Whoa! Is he, is he British or Australian? No, no, no. Guy Pierce is, is Australian. Well, then why did they put him, they put him down as no, Brito? No, this is white actor Brito, a different white actor Brito. All right. Uh, and your three are wife, movies, and Keely Shea Smith. How's that spelled? Uh, wife, movies, and Keely Shea Smith. Keely Shea Smith. White actor Brito. Um. Fuck. Um. You and McGregor. I got nothing. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, Martin Freeman, uh, the fucking Hobbit. Ma uh, Martin Freeman. Brian, your answer is... You said eat by me. Move this man. T-P-I-A. T-P-I-A. You've been rookered. <laughs> Incorrect. It was Pierce Brosnan. Jesus Christ, man. You didn't mention it was a retro Pierce question. Brosnan. James Bond and some other guy combined. Yeah. Wow. All right. Whatever, Remington asshole. He was the uh, one who got drive-by fruited by Robin Williams and Mrs. Doubtfire. R.I.P. Dog. <laughs> I love the mixture <laughs> of assholiness and like sincere regret for it. Like as you're saying it, I can hear that you're like, "Well, I feel kind of bad shitting on fucking." Robin Williams's legacy, but but it didn't stop you. R.I.P. R.I.P. R.W. I see you up in heaven, dog. Nine autocompletes uh, are on the board. Uh, here is the category, Brian: persona slash character, and then in <laughs> parentheticals, jerk it, <laughs> jerk it. All right. Um. I feel like I could do that in seven. I could jerk it in seven. I can jerk it in six. I could jerk it in five. I can jerk it in one, two, three, four. Okay, all right. We'll go ahead and jerk, jerk that celebrity. Jerk. All right, here we go. I'm revealing the autocomplete set is one, two, three, four. <laughs> they are quotes, dance, arrest, Laugh. Oh shit. Um fuck. That seems like I'm glad I'm didn't I didn't go in on this. Persona slash character jerk it. Not gonna lie, Brian, I have no idea who the fuck this is. <laughs> um hmm. it's gotta be somebody who's quoted a lot. Uh, do, I, 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 uh, not for a do, character, why would it get arrested? Do, do you want me to help you? Because, like, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I think. Well, no, I'm, I'm here. Save, save your reasoning for after I, I just talk it out here. Sure, sure. All right. We are competing against each other. Well, I mean, ostensibly, and yet here we are on the same team telling the truth to the people we love most. It's a good point. All right, there's no other uh, choice. I got to go with the obvious. Garfield Jay and Cat. Going to reveal it. Oh, no! <laughs> now, you know that guy ain't shit. So what is it? Is it nothing. Pope what? what? It's Pee Wee Herman, Brian. Who, who did you say? Garfield the Cat. That's that fine. Time Garfield the cat got arrested for jerking his dick in a theater. Uh, you know he's a character and a cat. <laughs>
whatever. Let's uh, let's uh, let's go on to the next one. Which one are we on to? Orfield. I want to watch some jerk flicks and fucking whack my cat putt amongst a bunch of other men. God damn! Think about how many ways the internet has made things so many so much better. Like that was just not an option. You didn't have a fucking theater with fresh porn in your face at all times. It Absolutely. wasn't like you could right, just sort of skipping all the way down to the final five here. We're going to question 20. Extra hint. It's called event, Brian. All right. Event? Event. All right. Right on. Okay. Uh, I could do it in All six. All ten are on the board. Six. Six, 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 six. I'm going to say five. Four, 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 four. All right. You can name it in four. I'm going to reveal them for you. One, two, three, four. Uh, the Tony four 2012. are 2014 tickets, guests, and dates. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> really? Coachella. 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 <laughs> Unless it's world tyranny, but Coachella's my main <laughs> guess. Thanks. Double complete rainbow. <laughs> Special report. Brian's wrong. It's Dragon Con. Oh, God damn it. Ah, fuck you. God damn it. Fuck. Not real. Not real. All right. We keep it moving. I think we're still at 1 1, by the way. I don't think either of us have gotten fine. Six, one right. It's fine. We got this. We got this. We got this. All right. You 21. It is. It's a thing. Uh, Molly Wood. You just want to, you can just, you're just saying Molly Wood. Straight, yeah, yeah, I'm just straight to Molly Wood. Uh, zero, zero guesses, Molly Wood. If I don't, me That's the problem with our game is that there's really not a penalty for just fucking going straight to guessing. It's a good there? point, except you can't win, you can only <laughs> lose. <laughs> It's a good way to lose with style. Uh, cool aid is it's a thing. Oh, and it's uh, hair dye, tie dye, dip tie, cut, pickles, play doh, pie, favors, man, and man. Oh yeah, what the fuck? Um, and somebody whoever's there forgets the Kool Aid is with a K. So whatever. That's fine. I'm glad I I, I wouldn't want to win that one with a with a C instead of a K. Fuck All you, right, Brian. Kool-Aid thing. Man. We come into our final, uh, our final three questions. Thing. Yep. 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 I can name it in, in three. All right. Go. Name that. Name that autocomplete. Uh, it's R blank free. R blank still popular or R blank still relevant. <laughs> Bud Kips. I Wait, say Bud Kips. Well, one more time. Let me let me let me hear you clearly. Mudkips. Mudkips. All right. And it is G T F O. That just Ooh, happened. Man. Oh, 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 oh. People used to own America. <laughs> uh, no, it's podcast, Brian. What the fuck? <laughs> man, that one was uh, shockingly relevant. Like, are podcasts still free? Like, can still people, you know, fucking say whatever they want? I don't know. Maybe they can until their wife tells them to stop saying fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Who knows? Who knows, man? Uh, I'll tell you what I do know is that we don't have any sponsors on this show. Do you realize we went completely independent? We don't get one fucking, I mean, we don't get one gosh darned penny for this show that uh, doesn't come from the heart. Like, we say the truth. We speak truth to power. Yeah, That's what we, we do. do. We absolutely do, which is why we're going to do one more autocomplete. This is for all the marbles. We're both at 1-1. One, one. Brian, the hint is person. How many can you name it in? Can, is, is the question, can I name a person? How many? Or the person? <laughs> Uh, uh, seven, 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 seven auto completes. Want to know what? Just because I feel like we need a winner for this game. 
I'm going to say, Brian, name that in seven, and we will reveal them now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They are class, studio, quotes, wife, gay, biography, marriage. Can you name that autocomplete? Daryl Hall. Brian, we need to have a winner. <laughs> All right, let me see. If, let, me, let me let me see if we get. Let me see if we get. And it can't be Pol Pot. There's no way. No. Um, keep going. Unless it's definitely Pol Pot. Is it? All right, Pol Pot. I'm gonna go. I don't think so. I, I doubt it's really Pol Pot. <sighs> Class Studio Wiki Twitter quotes wife gay biography marriage. I'm gonna go with uh, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Brian, your answer is. What? What the fuck? Who is the quit, The quit, Mac Daddy, is in the house. Walking, talking, bringing it down. Double. <laughs> you press, you it's press the kidding. fail horn sound, and then you press correct a mundo. You just fucking click all the buttons. <laughs> Hey, where are the white women at? Bullshit. <laughs> oh, pimping. Stop worrying about my acting, bitch. Shit's getting way too complicated for me. They're <laughs> calm. <laughs> <What's wrong? laughs> oh, Brian, it was Richard Simmons. <laughs> I was so close. I'm sorry, man. I was really, really close. Pol Pot, Richard Simmons, they're really two sides of the same coin. Come on, let's fair, face facts. How many times have we heard it said, Richard Simmons is the Pol Pot of gay people? Uh, Squarespace.com is where you need to know if you men want to make a website about how Richard Simmons and Pol Pot are secret brothers. You just go ahead and go to Squarespace and then uh, use the offer code NAP. That is NAP, standing for Night Attack Podcast. But for you, it stands for Take a Deep Sleep and Nap, motherfuckers, from high prices and bullshit downtimes by way of other website providers. You want to know what? I see all these other fools out here trying to fucking do the same shit Squarespace was doing. Act like they ain't been the worldwide leader in making your ass a website that looks good as shit and never goes down since 1991. I see I see all y'all other faker motherfuckers out there. Fucking Wix sucks dicks. That's what I like to say when it comes to Squarespace <laughs> because they're the fucking best in the goddamn business. We were challenged by Bonnie to not use the F word. Could you could you uh, at least try to play the game for like the next 10 minutes or whatever? Oh, I thought you had ended the game because then you started saying the F word. Well, all the I time. mean, I look just because I failed at the game doesn't mean that the game's over. I mean, it's like eh, we should we should try to honor the game. Um, well, there's no F word in Wick sucks dicks. <laughs> Is that you pressing the uh, beat button? That's not me. No. Uh, all right, well, there we go. Squarespace.com. Brian, what the hell do you know about Squarespace? Uh, look, I know that, uh, okay, this, true story, true story. <clears throat> A lot of people don't know this, but Don Herbert, do you remember Don Herbert? Uh, he used to play Mr. Wizard on uh, television. He was yep. like the science guy. He was Bill Nye, the science guy. Before there was a science guy, Don Herbert tried to start a website in 1973. Now, this is before the internet was really popular, before anyone knew what it was. Uh, he did a terrible, terrible job at it. Turns out that HTML hadn't been invented yet. Turns out that most people weren't aren't on ARPANET or any of that shit. Uh, turns out fucking Squarespace, by the way, I just lost the game. Uh, Squarespace went to Don Herbert. They poured some baking soda and a vinegar and that shit bubbled over, and they said, that's a, that's a website. And he went on Mr. Wizard's World, said the same thing, sued for libel, died 20 minutes later. <laughs> Squarespace.com. <laughs> Leave it right there. 10% off is what you're going to get if you go to squarespace.com, use the offer code NAP. Best thing about it, they didn't ask for a credit card. You, know, you got a lot of people out there saying, yo, let me hold your credit card real quick, dog. And Squarespace <laughs> says, F, F that. Flip that right in your uh, right in your Fadukin foot hole. 
because they don't like it. Keep your credit card to yourself until you actually have to start paying for the service. But just to try it, hey, listen, <laughs> they ain't Nazis. Squarespace. <laughs> That's their tagline. Squarespace. We're not Nazis. <laughs> So we had a big, uh, a big fiery, depressing first segment. We had a fun little game for the middle segment. Now let's get back to the depressing stuff. Okay, good. Thank goodness, because I was like, we're almost having too much fun here uh, with that delightful story of Don Herbert fucking. <laughs> Brian, jeez, come on! You yelled at me. I was in the middle of an ad read. You yelled at me to stop cursing, and then you cursed Sorry. twice in your next three sentences. <laughs> that's on me. That's on me. That's on me. Uh, that's all right, uh, Don Herbert. Uh, congratulations, man. Uh, <laughs> you're the man. <laughs> <laughs> Don Herbert. <laughs> can, we, can we just make this a tribute to Don Herbert from now on? Listen, we got to reveal. Uh, we're going to pull back the curtain on this one. And reveal it for what it really is. A glowing and touching tribute to Don Herbert. <laughs> Don Herbert, rest in peace. <laughs> Keep on rocking science in heaven, Don- wherever you are. <clears throat> Do we know if he died yet? Uh, probably. I don't know. Here, let me look up. Don the Herbert. Conversation right now. Hashtag join the conversation by just writing something that you'd like to see Mr. Wizard do. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he died. Holy shit. He died like the day I signed a contract with Scam School. I think I killed him. June oh. 12th, 2007 is when he died. That's exactly when I pitched Scam School. That's the, fucked up. You, you signed a contract with Scam School. Then Mr. Wizard said... Well, Brian, come over here. I would like to explain to you how you're going to have some negotiation problems and not have you seen have you seen have you seen the uh, the the Mr. Wizard is a dick video? Uh, uh, Brian, see if you can find it. Just type in Mr. Wizard is a dick, and uh, this is amazing, dude. It's just a collection of all of him just being an asshole to a bunch of kids. Absolutely. (laughs) That was an ominous string for you to take a drink of that beer. (laughs) Holy smokes! Here we go. Take a look at this. <laughs> See those two pins, Stacy? Yes. Well, today I'm going to stick them in you. Look at all the paper you wasted. You count that as a fold? That's enough. Okay. Because I already see that it's not random. Don't jump to conclusions. Why isn't it random? You, I thought told you to write down random numbers. What do you mean, not exactly? Can you well, see it or can't you? Well, you're right, but for the wrong reason. Sounds logical, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, that's wrong. Wrong. Wrong? Wrong. Uh Wrong. That's right. Not right. That's how I was wrong? That's how you were wrong. What'd you say? He said, he's incapable of making a mistake, therefore I must be wrong. M-I-S-S. You don't have to say anything. The computer is saying it for you. Okay. Try not to hit the table. Try instead to hit that little thing, okay? You're seeing um, a beam of light. No, you're, you're the seeing dust. the little pieces of dust. Well, you call them fingers, I'll call them propellers. You have to make the hole bigger than that, obviously. Haven't you ever seen a sliced banana before? You can't blow up a baby's <laughs> missing nipple? Well, you have one of those inside your head. I do? Yeah, it's called a brain. Come on, Eugene. Come on. Turn it over here like that and pull it straight up. No confidence in the science at all. You don't seem to have a great deal of confidence. But it might come back and hit my face. There, it's popped off. Oh, wow. Wow, hit you right on the <laughs> yeah. head, too. There you go. Ouch. Hot wax drop on your finger? Yeah. Well, hold it straight up, then it won't do that. Wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just wait, 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 wait. Hold, 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 hold it a minute. Stop it. I can't Don't. help it. Don't, stop it. Get up. Stop it. Get up. Stop it. I can't get up. Yeah. <laughs> And I must say, I don't think it looks any better than mine. What's making that sound, by the way? Okay, wait till I'm through with you. You'll be sorry you said what you said. Before you leave today, your head's going to be on that platter. I've never heard of food going up. Well, yours is going to in just a moment. But instead of putting paper clips from here, we're going to put Ashley. What? Oh, it's a terrible noise. It's very loud. Yeah, try it again. <laughs> Sounds like wild elephant. Anybody home? Ah. 
Well, have fun. Count yourself, because I'm leaving. Okay. Bye. I'll tell you what, man. That guy is a dick. I love that so much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where were we headed? I, I totally derailed us. Where were we headed with this? Um, so we talked about this scam school thing. But really, this is, a, this is an episode. You ever heard the song Regulators? Uh, wait, wait, wait. By Warren G? And Nate Dog, yeah. Warren G. Harden, Harding. He was like, I'm a straight up president, fucking died in office. Uh, I'm to wrap it from a hundred years before it's office. <laughs> How long do you think we could go uh for regulators with Warren G's Warren G. Harding's uh uh <laughs> fucking uh Wikipedia? <laughs> Dude, all right, let's try it. Let's try it. Somebody uh somebody drop it there. I'm gonna open up uh well let's see, Warren G. Warren G. Harding. Hopefully somebody's got the uh, Harding. Um, <clears throat> here's, I, I have the Wikipedia open. This cabinet, Maybe somebody can play. Including Aunt Fallon at Treasury, Herbert Hoover at Conference, and Charles Evans at State. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, Justin. It just doesn't sound right without the music behind it. it, it uh, uh, Brant, is there any chance you could drop a beat? Maybe a oh, beat no, appropriate? There's no way you can do this with the ducking, Brian. There's no way. There's literally no, no way uh, we can do it. Doesn't mean we're not gonna try. Let's go. Just go. Just go. Just drop a beat, and Justin will read and go. <laughs> any beat that doesn't make any goddamn sense. No, uh, I, I actually meant like the the, the Warren G. Uh, you know, regulators beat. Oh, oh man, shit. I'll find it. I, it's fine. Listen, I think there, it was an idea that got about as much time as it should. Uh, right. Here's the deal, Brian. We um we promised everybody a lot of things uh, about Dragon Gun. Dragon Gun's next week. If you are in the Atlanta area or want to make your ass down to uh, to Atlanta, then go ahead and do it. It is uh, really the Super Bowl of this show. You know, uh, we uh, we try to put on our biggest best show of the year uh, at. Dragon Con, we try to call out a bunch of friends. We try to make it a big, huge thing. Now, I mentioned the song Regulators because that's a song in which tells parallel stories. And then they eventually intersect uh, at the end when both Warren G and Nate Dogg freak some hoes at the East Side Motel. This is our yeah. East Side Motel. You, dear listeners, are our hoes. But we went on two different stories today. Brian got caught up in the dice game and had to fucking start dropping fools. I had yet another separate story and one that I... I, I hold, hold on real quick, Justin. There's no way you're telling me that in the middle of this regular episode of Night Attack that somehow both you and me have stories of frustration and misery and disappointment. That's not possible. It seems like only one of us or the other one... I mean, I, 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 this better be a pretty good, bad story if you're going to try to hork in on my territory. That's what I'm saying. Well, like, I not, own... Here's the reason the, why. It was, it was a satellite. You, your stuff was the sun, right? Yep, 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 yep. And, and yep. just kind of orbiting around was this other thing. But that meant if it was major, I could come to you and say, hey, listen, I know you're dealing with this thing, but I, I need to just siphon off a little piece of your attention over here because it's a really big issue. This was not big enough of an issue to do that. In fact, when I first told you about it, I said, hey, listen, uh, way low on your issues of things to deal with, and I told you what it was, and you said, you're right. That's way low on my issues I have to deal with. <laughs> Did I actually about. say that? I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so, uh, so, 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 asshole Brian from the past, what was way low on his list? So here's the deal. We talked about uh, this on the show. Um... Turquoise Jeep. I don't like where this is going. A, a concert after our Dragon Con show. 
they wound up canceling. Then they, uh, in, in, in that time, we said, hey, listen, let's just get together all of our friends. We'll do our own little musical review. So I call Ali Spagnola. I call Professor Shy Guy. Tay Allen comes in on it. We come up with a deal. We have uh, Bonnie's going to sing some Bonnie Count uh, stuff. It's going to be super rad. We're ready to have a great time. We call it Fucktron 9000. Mm -hmm. To make it even better, Turquoise Jeep calls me back and they say, fuck that other show. We're going to come on your show. We're going to do. Dude, this sounds, uh, everything you said sounds totally rad. It sounds like we won. We won the internet. We won Dragon Con. We won everything. We got everything that we wanted. I'm, it sounds like Discovery came back with a reasonable counteroffer and that scam school is going to keep going. And then I <laughs> got an email. What? Yeah. Well, emails aren't bad. I mean, I get emails all the time. How bad can it be? What's this email say? It was an email from our contacts for the podcast track at DragonCon. The podcast track? Because they're the ones that we booked this whole thing through. Because we Those are, are the guys that do, that do the stuff. They're, they're, they're the ones who, uh, hmm, hmm. I mean, I, uh, I, I suppose it's their right to email you if they want. I mean, what do they say? Something bad? And they say, well, <clears throat> hey, bad news. It looks like we are going to have to cancel the room for Turquoise Jeep. So they don't even, that's just how it's listed, is the Turquoise Jeep hour. And I'm like, uh, uh, you got any gum? <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, that's a little messed up because, like, you know, they're kind of a big draw. It seems like a lot of people would like to go to this, and they also told us we could do this. So surely you got it all cleared up. Now, right? let's also, let's flash back to when Turquoise Jeep initially said they couldn't do it, and I was on the phone with you trying to figure out what we're going to do. One of the big ideas was to fly out the double clicks. I was going to use my own miles to yep. fly the double clicks out so they could perform and then figure out a hotel room for them. We were going to do a big thing. They were going to do PAX East on, or sorry, PAX Prime on Friday and then Dragon Con on Saturday. That was like a thing that was going to happen. Mm. Thank God it didn't. I feel Thank like that wasn't the best idea. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Butt Deep. <laughs> I'm just saying that maybe, uh, maybe, maybe you should have. Did you consider having the Jeep perform and a bunch of other bands? You could call it Fucktron 9000. <laughs> that's basically that's actually a clip of, of me talking to the butt team and when, when everything was going down. <laughs> so, All right. So we, I get this email. I'm like floored because I'm in the middle of a bunch of stuff. This is even before everything goes down with Brian. And I'm like, oh, geez, like I got a bunch of stuff to do. I can't even think about it. And I'm going back and forth, pleading our case. Like, listen, we just we put a lot into this. We've called in a lot of favors. There's really uh, there's only a few <laughs> options that we have. One of the options. <laughs> and I don't know. Like, real, real, real quick. Munson 2099 in the chat says when butt demon is the voice of reason, you know, shit's gone south. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So what are our options here? Uh, so it looks like the crystal ballroom is definitely out. And that, that's what happened that night was they were informing us that we did not file things correctly, despite mm. the fact that I've been trying to file things for the past six months. Mm. Uh, and that turquoise Jeep was flagged as an inappropriate band booking. Why are they inappropriate? Because they're black. That's unfair. It's not because. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> Called uh, out. Shots fired. <laughs> Justin Robert Yelk versus uh, Dragon Con. Uh, accusations of racism are rampant. Well, I mean, they already have pedophilia. Why not go for the whole set? Oh, um, geez. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so what's our game? What's right. your game plan, man? Yeah, I mean, we're doing, we're doing our show guess, for sure. So here's the deal. All right, and, and let, me, let me make this clear. I was very frustrated with Dragon Con. We mm. love Dragon Con. We want to make everything work. So here's yeah. what happened. They said there's no way that we can do the tur no we, we can do the Crystal Ballroom, even though we were listed on the schedule for the Crystal Ballroom after Night Attack. 
It was never cleared, yada, yada, yada. That's just out of our, our capacity. So here's what's going to happen. Mm. Turquoise Jeep will perform on Night Attack. And I've been told by the Jeep that attending this performance will be Flint Flossy, F. Dot Flow Double, International Known, baby. Whatchamacallit? Moon Rock. The, the, uh, she has never appeared on, on Night Attack or NSFW before. And <laughs> to meet his adoring public, Slick mother, Motherfucking Mahoney. Going to be right there. Gonna right, be what, but, uh, but where? Where? Not If not in our room, then where? Uh, it's uh, going to be the Night Attack. They're not going to be, it's not going to be another thing. They're going to be our musical guest on Night Attack. Oh, shit. So, okay, great. No, this is awesome. So instead of doing two things, we only have to do one thing. Dude, 100% so down did. for that. Now, <clears throat> ask. All we've done is plug FT9K. We had a hashtag going. And Brian, once people believe in a hashtag, man, what are you going to do? So you're going to uh, uh, there's uh, I believe it was Abraham Lincoln who said that once somebody believes in a thing and you have to take it away, say psych. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can psych. still do FT9K. What? I think it's not going to be the same thing as with, with, with the crystal ballroom. No. It's, just, it's fake Tron 9000. Come on, man. You go psych. Look, all right. <clears throat> uh, I, okay, first of all, you know the fine folks over at Discovery Digital Networks, uh, they had a lawyer come up to me and say, uh, remember those promises? Psych. And it worked. It worked for him. Why wouldn't it work for us? Uh, we do have one room option, but I don't like it. And so we're going to try and figure out what we can do with that. Maybe we can bump it back a little bit. It's going to be in a tighter facility or it will be a sweet party. It'll be something. We're going to do something, but I want to give a chance for Allie and Shy Guy and Tay to perform because they were excited about it and I told them they're going to perform. So we'll figure it out. If you have an idea, then go ahead and hit me up, justinrobertyoungergmail.com. It really is something that, that uh, I was really hoping to do. I love Justin, Justin. Uh, music stuff, so let's do it. Psych. That's all you have to say. Just it makes everything better. Try it. Try it out for size. Just speak the words. Go, psych. You'll feel better. I can't. Brian, I can't. Because that would be like you looking at all the people at scam school and saying like, hey, I'll teach you some stuff. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> you Actually, I feel pretty good. Hey, man, I'll be here forever. Uh, psych. See, come on. It's easy. You can do it. Do, do, just do it. Now it's your turn. Can't. I can't even joke around about it. I want to make it happen. I really, mm. really do want to make it happen. So mm. uh, so let me know, folks, uh, if you have any, if you have a, a line in on something, I don't know. Ah, it's so annoying. It's so fucking annoying, man. Like, we got so goddamn close to this thing, and it's, like, like gone three different ways, and and... I know it's like not nearly as big of a thing as your thing, but no, like it was no, no, really no, it's a huge thing. Look, man, when when you have a vision and you invest your heart and soul into a thing, and then powers that have nothing to do with you just decide that like like no, you shouldn't do that. Like, I I, I can wrap my mind around what that's like. I would imagine that's rather difficult. Uh, so there we go. I think I have an idea of, of what we can do, but I'm not, I, I don't want to say it. Justin, I don't Justin, know. I, Justin. I, I don't want to say another thing and then Justin. have that go away five seconds from no, now. No, no, no. Just say it and then go, psych. Come on, try it. Go. Just say whatever it is you're going to say. Just say it and go, psych. We were offered to be able to do something in the podcast room, but we don't know how late we can go. Psych. psych. See, see, does that feel good? You just say whatever you want and you go, psych. See, come on. Uh, or better yet, or uh, you know what? If you say psych, it makes it sound like you're a liar. What if instead you said sign, my black son? You're like, sign. 
What the hell and is that supposed like, to mean? You're only ta- well, then you're just lying to one person, and it's like uh, not lying to the whole crowd. You're like, like uh, we're definitely gonna have Turquoise Jeep, Professor Shy Guy, Ali Spagnola, and Tay Allen all on the same show. Sign. <laughs> See, and that now you're only saying it's sign. Only breaking your promise to one person. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, exactly. here, Tinvec. Tinvec in the chat room says, just bump the next show. Better to apologize than ask permission. I fucking thought of that. And I asked. <laughs> like, I'm, part of, I'm like, well, what's the show after us? Because if they sound like something that has a, lo- a smaller crowd than us, then let's just beef these motherfuckers and just have this concert just roll right into their time and we'll see what they can do about it. Jesus. Turns out the people after us are the BDSM community. And I would prefer to not pick a fight with the BDSM community. Dude, why? Because they'll like it? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it. It seems like of all the people to pick a fight with, those are the right ones. <laughs> uh, there we go. In before next show is for DPSM BDSM convention. It's a good point. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, we should light them. We should end the show early. And they'll be like, no. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, all right. Hey, you, you want to take a moment for Diamond Time? Let's take uh, a little moment for Diamond Time, ladies and gentlemen. If you would like to get your. Shit shout it out here on the show. Go on go ahead on over to nightattack.tv slash diamond time. Uh you can enter stuff in there. We will eventually get to it. Or Probably. you can go on over to our Reddit. That is diamondclub.com slash or diamondclub.reddit.com. Um We'll go ahead with our old school list here first. We start off with the What's Up cast, a podcast about all the things, one thing at a time. We discussed... Oh, wait, hold on. Did we already do this? No, we didn't. I, right? uh, look, man, I don't even speak Spanish. Just keep going. We got this. We discuss video games, tech, movies, music, and TV every single week. It is whatsupcast.com slash... Oh, wait, never mind. The website... <laughs> Never mind. We suddenly hate you. What's up, cast? We hope everybody unsubscribes from you, and we're gonna set fire to the uh, world. Looks for the what's up, cast. Uh, but their website expired, so I'm not gonna give it away. Uh, Sci- life I'm is sorry. leaked. The, the, the word you're looking for, Justin, is psych. Just, psych. Also, I've always spelled psych s i k e. No, that's uh, wrong. It's, it's a psych, better way like, to like say you psyched psych. them out, like you psych psychological psych. Uh-uh. No, it's funnier if it's psych. What, did, what does that mean? Like, psych. You just got psyched. Yeah, like you got psyched out in the head. Uh, that sounds a little clinical for me. <laughs> so you saw it spell it S-I-K-E? Yeah, because that's a little more colloquial. I, I, I'm pretty oh, sure it's P-S-Y-C-H, like psychological. Like you just got psyched out. I, I out-thunk you. Uh, uh, my name is Brian uh, Brushwood. Uh, it's a psychological move is what it is, and therefore it is spelled P H Y S C E Psych. Life is lead, a podcast of nerds. Jesse, aka J B Hannah in the chat realm, and his younger brother Aaron are yelling at microphones about things, mostly video games and anime. Go on over to lifeislead.com. And of course, this one's uh yeah. around yes, for Y Y C K. What was that? I'm just saying, uh, P S Y C K was your. Uh, uh, it's fine. It's great. It's a, good, it's a great spelling. No, I didn't. I said P S Y C H E. Um, I <laughs> a sign says fuck. Psych is down. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, the Force Cast is a Star Wars podcast uh, network covering Star Wars movies, TV shows, books, convention, and everything in between. It is Force cast.net hey real quick is that riley is that riley believe that, that is the riles dude uh riley sent me an email uh it's actually marked as important and unread he was going to come over and uh say hello at dragon con friend of the show for a very long time dude good good guy good good peoples those peoples yeah, dude. no he's he is awesome and i've been on his show and i believe you've been on his show it's uh always a good time yeah 
Uh, and of course, this is our first diamond time off of the Reddit. If you want your diamond, or if you want your project shouted out here, just uh, and not be in this line that's going to take us about 19 years to get through, you can go to reddit.com/r/diamondclub. Just make sure you put hash diamond time in the beginning of your link. Uh, and this one is my board game area 1851 is finally going to be a reality. Hey, Diamond Club, a board game that I've been working on for five years is now finally going to be in store shelves in 2015. The good news you can is you can pre-order it for $10 less than the MSRP once it's on store shelves. For those of you who listen to the weird things, you might remember a few ad reads for it a while back. It's a fast-paced card drafting and simultaneous turn tactical strategy game where players work to build oddly odd-sounding contraptions and deliver them to the people of a town in to gain reputation points set in an alternate history where aliens showed up along the Oregon Trail. So go ahead and check it out. You can go to uh, uh, just go to Reddit, Reddit slash R slash Diamond Club, and find the link right here. Just search for Area eighteen fifty one. Super pumped that Jay Blasky went and made his dream come true. Hey, Justin, real quick note. Uh, that wasn't the most upvoted for this week. That was just the most yeah. recent. Fuck you. Just FYI. Oh. Yeah. So eat shit, host of the show. How do you like that? You just got fucking served by the so TD. Just the most upvoted. So oh, shit. Diamond Dialogue. Is that it? I believe so. All right. Well, here we go. Diamond Dialogue, short form interview show featuring the members of Chat Realm. There's so many amazing people in chat realm. I wanted to know more about them and just why they're so amazing. I'm the host of the show and I pose questions to the uh, to the guests and an effort to find out more about them and how they became to be part of the chat realm. This podcast has been amazingly fun and you should all check it out for the same reasons I decided to make it to get to know your fellow chat realmers a bit better and hear them answer my dumb questions. Check out the show here, T-I-N-N-V-E-C dot com slash D-D, or go ahead and find Diamond Dialogue on iTunes or the RSS feed on the Reddit. Sorry about that, Diamond Dialogue. I totally done goofed. Yeah, dude, done goofed. That's the name of the episode. Hey, uh, real quick. Ah, um, uh, shit. I guess I was, uh, I'm sorry, I was about to toss to the... Uh... <laughs> To, to the uh, to the summer draft, and I realized that it was over. Are you gonna pay we this lost. shit up for uh, for for the morning stream? Are we gonna Are we gonna sing that song that you fucking don't Don't put this on me. Don't make this about me. Wait, wait, wait! wait. You're the one who went and said I volunteer to this uh, challenge. Yes, I will commit to it. Why would it not be about you? Why, why, why can't it be in us? Why, why can't you walk hand in hand with me? Why do, you, why do you have to dump it on me? Huh? Why you got to make me feel bad about it? Why can't you just say, listen, we're riding <laughs> side by side. I didn't yeah. ask to get into a fight with Discovery Networks, but yet <laughs> here I am. I'm ready to deal death to these people because I'm riding side by side with you. I'm not just pointing at you and saying, you know, like, well, Brian. Brian screwed up. <laughs> Brian, Brian, Brian signed that contract seven years ago. He should stick to those agreements from seven years I'm ago. Regardless that, I'm, of I'm how right things have you. changed. You need to ride with me. Uh, yes. No, I ride with you. I ride with you, sir. Uh, so I guess we're going to maybe like auto-tune some stuff. We can just, well, I mean, it's going to be hard to, to get us both on the, the morning stream. Okay. Okay. Right. Real, wait, 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 wait. Real, real quick. Can, can we re pre-record it? And can we can we can we do a my dick band on this shit? Like like can we uh can we sing our own version of it? Like a my dick band tribute? And it's we like uh, what, what is it? Uh, dick, though, endless right? love. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be endless my dick. And so it's like uh my endless my dick. I don't know. I don't want to rip off the bid. Uh, by the way, uh, while I was on vacation, I started playing my dick band dot band camp dot com and uh it was amazing to watch as 12 people individually one at a time very slowly began to realize these are not the 80s hits that they thought they were <laughs> Mom, <laughs> that's that's my new favorite game that i recommend everybody do is just start playing the playlist at my dick band dot band camp dot com and just it just 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 keep, you know, glancing around eye to eye and waiting until somebody like glances your way with that question mark look. We're, we're, we're the, like, you know, you know that one where they're like, like, <laughs> where it's like they know, they know, and you know, and you know, they know. 
Uh, hell, goddamn yeah, man. All right, we'll figure it out. We ain't got no movie drive minute. We do have a lot of love. Brian, uh, you're on vacation. Do you have anything uh, coming up here? Uh, no, let me tell you, uh, vacation's going really, really well. I'm looking forward to uh, Dragon Con, and for anybody who's wondering, uh, uh, f- uh, fucking uh, golly darn it, don't do anything. I... It was it was kind of a big question whether or not we would even talk about this on the show. Uh, but you know, the show's built on honesty, so we decided to tell the truth. But but telling the truth does not mean that there's anything to be done yet. Uh, it is my sincere belief and hope that uh, that 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 me and Discovery will will you know get some shit worked out. I'm really excited about it. All right, but if it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, Carl's asking, are the shirts sold out? Uh, thank you guys uh, so much. Uh, uh, can, can you tell us about the, the the shirt sales? Like we've we've done we've done pretty well, right? Yeah, I believe we're like halfway sold out. Uh, if you go to nsfw.scamstuff.com, that's new oh, yeah. shirts they, for they winners. They, eh, eh, they took it down. There is no nsfw.scamstuff.com anymore. Who did? Because all the shirts went out with. Uh, Zach to Atlanta. Oh, shit. Well, uh, too bad you're out of luck. So eat shit, assholes. You should have bought earlier. Um, well, that's the end of this discussion, sale. I guess. It might be. They might be back on sale. Depends on what comes back from Dragon Con. Everything might get sold out at Dragon Con. But why, if they why, come back. Why, 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 why? Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess what I mean to say is go to nsfw.scamstuff.com. Psych. <laughs> <And then, laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just surprised that this is the first time I'm herding I'm <laughs> about it. I heard about it when I tried to uh, when I tried to tweet about it, and then was told immediately that it was gone. That seems like uh, okay. Well, Man. I think the problem is this. The problem for for John though, who's running the store, is that you can't promise any kind of shirts, right? Like, uh, you, you can't promise that any kind of sizes or colors are going to be there after Dragon Con, so. I, I, I mean, after Dragon Con, it seems like all that shit, it seems like Dragon Con's a full week away. I don't, I, uh, what, whatever. I just work like, here. The shirts had to leave. I guess Zach left, like, today or something. I'm telling you about your stuff here. Yeah. The, uh, well, uh, uh, breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. I just learned that uh, you shouldn't buy any shirts now. So there's that. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for buying when you did. There's been awesome stuff on the Twitter. So um, so keep sending those if you got them. And if not, they are going to be a dragon gun. You're going to buy them there. They'll, they'll be back up on sale. So. <laughs> Tondagasa says go to nsfw.scamstuff.psych. <laughs> and then you can get shirts. <laughs> Uh, right. yeah, man. And oh, about man. wraps it up. Cabo just psyched me. Hey, guys. Uh, love you guys. See you oh, next no, time on Sunday. Night attack is through. Is there something that I did? Is there something I can do? Oh, no. Night attack is done. My heart has been broken. The depression's just begun. Brian Brushwood, every time you leave, I wanna hurt myself by pissing off some bees. I'm allergic to bees. Oh, Justin Robert Young, every time you go, I get so sad. That I wanna drink a warm glass of Drano Night attack 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 I love Spaceship Voltron is superior Voltron.